Salve Maria. If you are a Catholic, chances are you've probably seen this. This is the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. The scapula is a sacramental, not to be confused with the sacraments, say for instance the sacrament of baptism or confirmation, but a sacramental, according to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, is a visible and sacred sign which prepares men to receive the sacraments worthily and also grants them all the necessary graces to sanctify themselves in whichever circumstance of life they are in. Now, the scapula is not merely a sacramental. It is a sacramental with a great promise, a promise made by none other than the Mother of God herself. What is the promise of the Blessed Virgin Mary to those who wear this scapula devoutly? And what are the origins of the scapula? How did this come about? Watch the video to find out. It was on the midnight of July 16, 1251, that Our Lady appeared to the holy English Carmelite Saint Simon Stock and gave him the miraculous Kapla of Carmel. In those days, Saint Simon Stock was the superior general of the Carmelite order. He found himself in an afflictive situation because his order was passing through very serious difficulties being despised, persecuted, and even threatened with extinction. Being a man of lively faith, St. Simon continuously implored the help of Our Lady, and he also asked for a visible sign that his prayers would be attended to. Being moved by the sorrowful pleas of her fervent son Simon, Our Lady brought for him the brown woolen scapula from heaven while saying to him these words, Receive, O most beloved son, the scapula of your order, sign of my confraternity, privilege for you and all Carmelites. Whosoever dies wearing the scapula shall not suffer the eternal fire. It shall be a sign of salvation, a protection in danger, a pledge of peace and a pact forever. Seventy years later, Our Lady appeared to Pope John the 22nd and made a new promise to him, which is considered a complement to the first promise. It goes like this, I, like the tender mother of the Carmelites, will descend into purgatory on the first Saturday after their death and will deliver and conduct them to the holy mountain of eternal life. But there are three conditions for gaining the Sabbatine or Saturday privilege promised by Our Lady. Firstly, we must wear the scapula continuously. Secondly, observe chastity according to our state in life. And thirdly, say the little office or any other prayer daily in honor of our Blessed Mother, which the priest gives us while imposing the scapula. In the beginning, the brown scapula was used only by the Carmelite religious. However, later on, wishing to extend the privileges and spiritual blessings of its use to all Catholics, the Church reduced its size and authorized that its reception be within the reach of all the faithful. Can a non-Catholic wear the brown scapula? Yes. And in so doing, a non-Catholic will receive many graces and blessings with this special sign of devotion to the Mother of God. <laughs> 
Devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel goes far back before the time of Saint Simon Stock, even before the time of our Blessed Lord. It goes back all the way to the 8th century BC. It was then that the great prophet Elias ascended into the holy mountain of Carmel in Palestine and began there a long tradition of contemplative life and prayer. It is amazing to realize that centuries before Christ was born, holy Elias and his followers had mystically dedicated themselves to God's mother to come, Mary, Queen of Mount Carmel. Nearly 3,000 years later, that tradition of prayer, contemplation and devotion to Mary continues to live and prevail in the Catholic Church. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, glorious Queen of Angels, channel of God's tenderest mercy to man, refuge and advocate of sinners, with confidence I place myself before Thee, beseeching Thee to obtain for me the grace of a holy life and a good death. In return, I solemnly promise to have recourse to Thee in all my trials, sufferings and temptations, and I shall do all in my power to make others to love and reverence Thee, and to invoke Thee in all their needs. I thank Thee for the numberless blessings which I have received from Thy mercy and powerful intercession. Continue to be my shield in danger, my guide in life, and my consolation at the hour of death.